behind Stanwood Elementary. A team from the Washington Geological Survey tests the ground for how the soil would shake in an earthquake. Much of the school was built in 1956. Step two will be for engineers to figure out if it can be retrofitted with things like these angled steel beams used in new construction. But while the school may be old, the technology here is advanced. Thank you for giving me packs quiet. Inside this class of kindergartners are about to experience a first of a kind drill for Washington and Oregon. <laughs> this is the first great shakeout to use the new shake alert warning system that could give students extra seconds to even a minute or more of warning before the shaking from an earthquake actually arrives at this location. Jean Shoemate is district superintendent. And anything that we can do to give our students and staff volunteers a fair warning, that means that we could save people's lives like I mentioned earlier, and that's critical. Does that make you feel better? It does, it does. I for parent Dale Ann Baker, who's active in promoting disaster safety for her second grader school, there is concern about the school building itself. Because of the age of the building and where it is, I have I worry about it. So then the roof framing is starting to frame off. We took you along in the summer of 2018 as engineers studied one of the 222 schools for seismic risks in phase one. Karina Forsen is the state's chief hazards geologist working on school safety. It really depends on the year it was built, the type of construction it is. Is it unreinforced masonry? Is it wood? Is it concrete? And then also what ground is it sitting on and how close is it to some of these major active faults? These fifth graders get to help out state seismologists by making a little shaking themselves. In Stanwood, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. When phase two is finished, nearly 600 schools will have been studied, but there are 2,300 schools in the state.